What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is stained glass DIY. So we've got this empty picture frame and it's just been sitting there. So I thought, why not go ahead and do a stained glass piece and put that into the frame. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I've got this idea to do some kind of a pattern. So I'll quickly draw that up and then we'll turn that into our stained glass. And of course, if you guys need to know what kinds of things you need to get started with, I'll put that link of the video down below for you. It's a beginner's tools video. So you can take a look at that for your reference. All right, I'm excited about this one. Let's get started. Okay, so this is a five by seven picture frame and the idea is to go ahead and swap this glass out and we'll put some stained glass art on it. This is the drawing that we have in mind. It's a lot of inspiration and ideas from the tribal and Native American patterns. I'll go ahead and blow this up and then we'll go from there. So I'm tracing the original glass to start with so we know what dimensions our stained glass piece needs to be and not to exceed it or else it won't fit inside the frame. I'm dividing the length of my pattern into 10 equal parts and also finding the middle point since the design is a mirror of both the horizontal and vertical axes. Drawing the cross sections gives us the triangular and trapezoidal pieces to complete this pattern. And just for kicks and to get a clear idea of how this will look, I decided to color this whole thing. Okay, let's number these pieces and then we'll cut them up. Next we'll take these pattern pieces, trace them over the glass, and then use the glass cutter to cut them up into each individual piece. Uh, I can't wait to see this finished. Now we'll take these pieces to the grinder and grind them down a bit so the lines are straight and the pieces fit together. We've finished our grinding, the pieces have been rinsed and dried, and now we're ready for our copper foiling. So the first thing you need is a fid tool. This is to help burnish the foil onto the glass. You can also use a wooden stick like I have been in the past, but using a fit tool helps you so much more and I'm a big fan, I would highly recommend it. So the next thing we need is copper foil tape. We're gonna go with the black backing, 7 30 seconds of an inch width, since I'll be doing the black patina on this project. So you always want to match the backing color to the finish color of your piece. And lastly, we just need scissors to cut the tape. Simply peel off the tape and stick it onto the edge of the glass. Be sure to take your time and lay down the piece evenly on both sides. Work your way around until you get back to the beginning. Cut that off and then we'll use the fit tool to press the tape and start burnishing it and get it onto the glass as best as you can. And now let's repeat that with the rest of them. All right, we're finally at the soldering stage. And as you can see, I've got everything laid out here. So let's start off with the mask that I use. This is really helpful if you don't want to smell all the solder fumes while you're soldering. And I've got my soldering station and the soldering iron. Of course we have the flux and the brush. And then this is the 6040 solder. And my pieces are kind of boxed in here in the frame. And let's transfer that onto the copy of our pattern. We've got something special. This is, I got these coffin nails, check them out. They look so cool. These are like 30 years old, maybe more. We're gonna try to use these to hold down my pieces so we can solder them easier. And this is my first time trying it out. So let's see how it goes. So I found it was a lot easier to lay down the pieces and then use the nails afterwards to frame everything around it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is tack every piece here to hold it all together. Okay, here we go. We've already tacked all these pieces. Let's add some flux and then let's solder everything on this top layer. 
I'm melting the solder on the tip of the iron and moving along the lines as I go. Don't stay too long in one spot or you could burn the copper foil or worse, break the glass from the excess heat. You can always come back and smooth out the lines once they cool down a bit. We'll flip it over, add more flux, and do the same thing on the other side. And don't forget to do the edges as well. After soldering, we'll scrub everything in some soap and water. Okay, we'll rinse this off and dry completely for the next step. Let's take some fine steel wool and scrub everything once more so we can get ready for the polishing step. Brush off all the shavings from the steel wool and let's go ahead and polish everything. So shiny. Kinda liking the silver, but we're going with the black. Actually, I got an idea. We're gonna do black patina on one side and we'll leave the silver solder color on the other side. That way we can choose what to display in the frame. So you get a bit of both the silver or the black lines. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got the black patina. So we're gonna coat this entire top surface and we should see some color change and these lines should go black. Let's rinse this off. The color is not as black as I'd like it to be. I'm gonna try to reapply a second coat, but this time I'm gonna use some fresh cotton swabs and maybe that might help make this a little bit darker. Let's see if this does the trick. So I forgot that you shouldn't use an old brush to apply patina, so always remember to use a new cotton swab or some fresh new cloth every time you apply it. Okay, let's try it again. Let's do the third application. Let's rinse and dry and then we'll wax it all up. I got rid of the solid backing for this frame since I wanted this piece to be see-through. So I'm adding some sawtooth hangers to it so we can hang it up and display it like that instead. That wasn't too bad, was it? If you guys enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Every single one of you count and we're at 500 plus subscribers and growing. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who've made that happen. This one goes out to my friends Kento and Rui for the inspiration. You guys are getting this for your wedding day in Bali and sorry we can't make it. Congratulations, you guys. Also, thank you so much for this hat. It's so dope. Okay, it's a wrap. You guys are amazing. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.